while drilling which action can help you to detect kick early. So if you want to detect kick early, then let us understand the options which are given. Continue operating solid control equipment during well connection will not give you an option to detect kick early because your solid control equipments are already uh, running. So it, uh, when you are making a connection, so that will remove the solids. So solid control equipment will remove solids and it will make mud lighter, inviting reduction in BHP and there might be a kick. So this option is wrong. Allow mud system to transfer from reserve pit while drilling ahead. So whenever you transfer mud, then you have to again instruct your driller or you have to tell your driller that I am transferring the mud so there will be an increase in volume so that he can understand. So this is not the right relevant answer for this question. Allow drilling fluid losses by overflowing shaker. Now if you allow mud to overflow through shaker, then it is not returning into the pits. So how can you detect kick? Even though there is an increase in volume, but the fluid is going out of the system, overflowing the shell shaker. So, it won't indicate any kick. So, this is also wrong. This is the right option. Reduce the range of pit volume totalizer PVT, high and low alarm. Let's say I give you an example. Let's say if I set my pit level alarms 10 barrel high and 10 barrel low. So, that alarm will be audible to me only when the pit level increase by 10 barrel or decrease by 10 barrel. So in that case, I will be getting a warning after increase in 10 barrels. But if I set this pit alarm to 2 barrels, so whenever there is an increase in 2 barrels, because the alarm is set at 2 barrels, so I will get an early warning system or early warning buzzer. So that reduces the size of kick. So this is the right option.